Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to the home of all things FIFA career mode. Now I've said previously one of the downsides to create your club career mode is that we can't rename or customise any of the players, but what we can do is create them first. So step number one is to create a player, or players if you want to add several of them to your created club career mode. And if you've not created a player yet in FIFA 22, the option is found in the customization menu. So once you have created your player, step number two is to move that created player or players if you've created multiple to free agents. And once again, this is done via the customization menu. Once you have moved all your created players to free agents, it is then time to start your career mode. So step number three is to start your career mode using current squads. Ignore any updates that are available at this point or all created players will be deleted. So step number four is to set up your created club career mode as normal, including home kit, away kit, crest, stadium and squad. Once you have started your created club career mode, it is then time to search for your created players. Once you have identified your created players, it's then time to shortlist them in the transfer hub and sign them to your squad. And because you've already moved your created players to free agents, there is no transfer fee to pay, you just have to negotiate a contract with the player and his agent. And then it's a matter of repeating this process for as many players that you have created. Now all created players have potential to be special, but with negative dynamic potential, they can actually drop to exciting prospect or showing great potential if they're not managed correctly. So if you want to add a more personal touch to your next created club career mode, why not create a few players first? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to tune in next time, but until then, it's FCG out.